So. What are these guys doing and who the hell is Laura Wan? This was the first sentence we get in 2017 as we installed the first Laura Wan gateway at the top of our tower in Frankfurt in Germany. My name is Nico and I will show you some information how we use Laura Wan at the Deutsche Bahn, the German railway company, at the moment. So, who are we? Let's talk about some facts. The German railway company is one of the biggest uh, uh, leading mobility and logistic companies worldwide. We got more than 300,000 employees and also in 2020 we got more than 1.2 billion passengers. So the Deutsche Bahn's rail network is the largest in Europe, Europe with over 33,000 kilometers. On that are more than 350,000, uh, more 100, 350 trains are running. So when you think about the German railway company, most of the time you think about rails and you think about trains. But we are more than that. We have more than 300 sub-companies. And these sub-companies are in three key areas, passenger transportation, transport logistics, and also infrastructure. And we want to talk about of these, some of it. So, as you can see, there are not every or there are all companies of, on the slide. So, there are sub-companies which are using LoRaWAN at the moment in special use cases. I'm a, I'm a member of the DB system, and uh, we would like to establish LoRaWAN as an IoT standard for the whole, whole railway company. As you can see, that's our goal. So, who are we? Let's talk about some facts about the DB Sister. We are the IT and TC service provider of the German railway company. We have more than 5,000 employees. And our headquarters, as you can see on the right side, uh, on a sunny day, it's the Silver Tower in Frankfurt. Here we started with our first LoRaWAN gateway. And I'm a team member of the Team Smart Connectivity Services who started the service in 2017. And uh, we would like the digital partner of the German railway company. So I will give you a short view about the architecture, how we install the solutions, um, how LoRaWAN works. You know it about the last two, year, uh, two days. Um, first, we start with the sensors. At the moment, we have more than 6,000 active devices and over 70 applications. So then, the data were collected by a gateway. Okay, we work here with Tactilic. And uh, what's important for this, uh, we, ha we have our own AWS cloud infrastructure because for big companies, it's very necessary because uh, we have our, I, uh, our own IT policies. And so also we offer our coverage to other, uh, to <laughs> to other companies if they want. We're appearing with the public TTN as well. So what you want to see today is examples. Examples how we use LoRaWAN at the Deutsche Bahn. First, we start with the upper left side. You can see an office building. Upper right side, you can see a train in a maintenance plant. Down on the left side, in substation of DB Energy. Down on the right side, you can see a logistic point. So let's start us with digitizes office spaces for more efficient use. What challenges do we face in such situation in office building? Agile working structures and a flexible working world enable employees to work from everywhere. That's the challenges. Unoccupied working places and rooms leads to an initiative and use, and that costs companies a lot of money. So what are we doing here in this situation? Yeah, we installed some kind of sensors to measuring the, uh, the data and if the 
places or the rooms are occupied. On the left side, you can see a push button when the employee come to the uh, working place, can push a button. The system realizes, okay, that's occupied or not. And in the middle picture, you can see a sensor of, Elv of ELSIS, and I think the stand is uh, left on the outside. And um, this measures automatically if the room is occupied or not. What does the worker or the company get in the moment? He gets a dashboard, yeah? a map where he can see, okay, where are free resources in the office building? And also, it's necessary yeah, to continuously measure the utilization of your office space. One advantage is you can use the data to support your space planning in future times. And the other advantage is you have for the employers real-time information about free resources. Why we use LoRaWAN in this situation? Because it's easy to retrofit. It's easy to enlarge the systems, and we don't need a cable to install the, all the sensors. So let us talk about how we use LoRaWAN in a substation of DB energy in this time. What challenges do we face here in this situation? We have different technical installation in unmanned substations. Most of the time, there is no one. So it's very cost intensive to check all these parameters, and the person has to check all by foot. Yeah? And that's very cost intensive. These are wide areas, and also this offers an uh, advantage with LoRaWAN because most of the time you only need one gateway to supply all the, all the sensors where we installed in this time. So what did we hear in this situation? Yeah, we installed the LoRaWAN gateway and then we have uh, some different kind of sensors which we installed, some um, weight sensors, some temperature sensors, um, and also on the left side with the 20 batteries, uh, we use here uh, one wire bus system. Uh, one wire bus system allows us to collect uh, 20 se temperature sensors in one LoRa node, and this is very good. And also it's good, we can um, collect data from different interface in what? In one dashboard. And the dashboard shows um, the employee, okay, all parameters he wants to know, in real time, it's an, this is a very advantage because LoRaWAN make it look easy to to equip some of uh, such a substain of the EV energy. Let's talk us about another example how we use LoRaWAN. Um, as you can see on the right side, there is a maintenance plant where trains are repaired, and uh, what. Do we, what challenges do we face in this situation? Be, but what is important in this situation? We want to keep the downtimes as short as possible of such a maintenance of such trains. And to keep the downtimes as short as possible, we need supply and disposal constantly. So and when you see under these trains, there are some containers and also they have some stocks where material is collected. So we have def different technical use cases here. We have to collect uh, data over more than 100 different mater materials. And also we install the LoRaWAN gateway. Most of the time it supply all sensors in such a such maintenance plant. And here you can see three types of sensors which we installed. First one, we have a weight measurement. These containers are under the trains, under the rails, and in this case, uh, you can see brakes. Yeah? And so the supply manager has real-time information about how many brakes under the rails. The next one is an uh, infrared measurement for liquid of oil or water or something like that. And the last one, it's a check button. When, when an employee goes into a stock and see, okay, there's something missing of material, he push the button, the supply manager gets an email or information, or see it in his dashboard, okay, there's something missing, he can order new material, and so, yeah, 
the downtimes are as short as possible. And so also the advantage of LoRaWAN, it's easy to retrofit. We don't need a cable to install. And this is very good in such situations. So the last example, how we digitize processes in logistic points. As an example, we plan to do this in the, quarter, in the first quarter of 2033. So we start with it. And this situation, we have the same challenges as the other cases. So we have a manual counting and measurement of the parameters, wide areas. And so it's cost intensive to equip all the sensors with, uh, with a cable, energy cable. And um, yeah, also here, the solutions will be LoRaWAN gateway, in this case, it's planned to install a, sound, a machine sound measurement. It's planned to install an electricity meter and also a water meter to check some parameters, what the company wants. And what does the company get? A dashboard as well. So all parameters were can check in one, under a minute and um, what is also important in such situations for big companies, they, when they want to enlarge the systems, they retrofit with sensors, they don't want to ask the DB system, okay, can you enlarge our systems? Or they want to do it independently. And so we offer them an onboarding app so they can uh, enlarge the system, retrofit with new sensors by her own. In the common years, it's planned to equip more than 200 uh, logistic points all over Germany. So, what are our future goals? Yeah, for sure, to scale up. Why scale up? At the moment, we have more than 6,000 active devices in the field, okay? But we, our goal is to scale up, to offer the cost advantages of scaling to our customers. And we would like to be the digital partner and set a new IoT standard with LoRaWAN at the whole German railway company. But there's a challenge. When we think about in the coming years, we would like to install more than 50,000 sensors. And then when you think about, OK, we have to upgrade these all sensors by hand, that would be um, maybe impossible, impossible, maybe it would be very cost intensive. So it's necessary that the next year we get the possibility to upgrade our sensors over the year, also called Fuota. And uh, we started the first case with this with the uh, station clock, as you can see on the right picture, left side. Um, that's our first case. We started to do it, to test it. And yeah. That's our goal. We would like to be the digital partner of the German railway company and set a new standard with Laura Rahn. So that's for now. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to ask me after the presentation. My name is Nico, and I wish you a great day at the conference. So